Hey sis, uh, Hayley, I've got an extra box for this delivery. It says on my docket I should have eight, but I count nine. Uh, that is the wrong box, you did. It says Andy Oliver at Dalston's. Yeah, but look here, your order is Oliver Andrews at Shipman's. Just take it over there. Sneezy mistake to make. Some thought, yeah. <laughs> it's hard to be sausage. Uh, this was delivered here this morning, incidentally. Ooh, that's Steve's solicitor by the looks of it. If you'd like some privacy... Oh, you... no, no. Our divorce has hardly gone under the radar, has it? Yeah, it's the settlement is off. Mm. Wendy for yeah? That's our like doubt, love. Divorce mm. settlement can't be fun. Got to be joking. He's a tight fist to... Did Kevin try that on with you? It means nothing to me. I don't know what Steve's worth, do I? Well, he's worth a damn sight more than that, eh, Eileen? Oh, keep me out of it, love. No, he has got two businesses, and that barely gives me a pot to pee in. Look, hang on. Streetcars is hardly Microsoft, love. Bank statements got more red ink than the homework Jason used to come home with. Yeah, but Rovers is worth some of Take him for whatever you can. That's my advice. Mm. Royston, what do you reckon? Look here, can you believe that amount? My advice is to accept the offer with dignity and carry on with your life. You've not even... Your integrity is worth more than any amount of money. You were in love once, you could be friends again. Why jeopardise that? Actually, you might have a point. Oh, I remember when I had morning sickness with you. I practically wore the toilet bowl as a hat for the first three months. Mum, you're not helping. You're not feeling sick now, are you? It's gone five o'clock. No, but I will be if you keep going on about it. Can we please change the subject? And not pottery Neither either. Neither where this new business going to come from. And I've only just started there, so... Oh, I know, with Frank banged up and Carl in lockdown at Maria's. Yeah. Ladies? Wait, don't tell me. Uh, vodka and coke for you, Eileen, and snake bite for you, Becky? Oh, was it something I said? I think she was just surprised to see you. Do you still want your drink? Yes, go on. Stood where I should be standing. So it was either walk out or shove her head down on bar with a beer pump up each nostril. It is really not healthy for you to harbour these negative and somewhat violent thoughts. What do you expect from me, Royston? That woman has stolen my life. <laughs> it must be pretty awful if she has to steal yours. I, I would advise an amicable settlement to this divorce, and then you can both, as they say, move on. But he's, he's offered me now. Well, perhaps there's no more to give. From what you said, Steve is not exactly a wealthy man. And the moment your marriage is in trouble, he makes your worst enemy pregnant. You're well rid. We were absolutely fine until she showed up. Well, if your marriage was as solid as your rose-tinted hindsight suggests, she wouldn't have been able to shake it, let alone blow it apart. You are being unfair, Mother. Yeah, and I was a fab stepmom to our Amy. You can ask anybody that. Being a fab stepmom doesn't cut any ice, not when the real mother's back on the scene. I, for one, believe that Steve's love for Becky was absolutely genuine. Well, it's hardly stood the test of time, has it? Right. So you're saying that I was just keeping the bed warm for Tracy, were I? Cheers. Thanks a lot for that, Sylv. Smashing. Oh, stopping long enough to have a drink this time, are you? You really think you can fob me off with this McDonald? Think again. Shove it. Oh, Becky, please. And you want me to go quietly, but I just don't do quietly, Steve. So if you and her want to play happy families, you're going to have to think about paying me double that, at Look, least. you know what? I can't be doing with this right now. Steve. Oh, yeah. OK, so this is a little bit where you say to me to get to him, I have to go through you. Please, go for it. I'll even make allowances for you in your condition. Becky, do you really not know what happened today? Or are you just trying to take advantage? Not got a clue what you're on about, love. Jim was sentenced. I should go and talk to him. No, you won't. Oh, please. But you know what? If you're lying to me, Barlow... Uh, Becky! Forgot this.